This nation holds the distinction of being the first to craft a beverage from cacao beans, rightfully claiming the title as the inventor of chocolate. Hello, welcome to Open Tierra. Today, we're taking a closer look at the vibrant country of Mexico. Join us as we explore its rich history, diverse geography, and dynamic people. Mexico was home to some of the most advanced indigenous cultures in the Americas. The Olmec people considered the mother civilization of Mexico, established the first major ceremonial centers like San Lorenzo around 1400 BC. Other great cultures like the Maya in the Yucatan Peninsula and the Zapotec and Mixtec in Oaxaca followed them. But undoubtedly the most powerful and renowned were the Aztecs. The Aztec Empire, centered in the island city of Tenochtitlan, arose in the 14th century. At its peak in the early 16th century, it stretched across most of modern central Mexico through military conquest and tributaries. The Aztecs were highly skilled engineers, architects, and artists who developed a sophisticated society and religion. This incredible world of towering pyramids advanced agricultural systems, and formidable warriors would soon face its greatest challenge. In 1519, a Spanish expedition led by Hernán Cortés arrived on the coast of Mexico. Exploiting internal divisions, Cortés and his indigenous allies managed to subjugate the mighty Aztec capital of Tenochtitlan by 1521, marking the fall of the empire. Thus began over 300 years of Spanish colonial rule over Mexico. The Spanish imposed their religion, language, and racial caste system on the indigenous population. Massive epidemics also devastated native populations. However, colonial Mexico became one of Spain's wealthiest colonies due to the extraction of silver and other precious resources exploited through indigenous labor systems like the encomienda and repartimiento. Cities like Mexico City, Puebla, and Guadalajara were founded as new centers of Spanish power and culture, but resistance to Spanish authority also festered, setting the stage for the drive towards Mexican independence in the early 1800s. As mentioned earlier, resistance against Spanish colonial rule had been brewing across Mexico for centuries. Indigenous peoples resented the brutality of Spanish subjugation, and the encroachment on their lands and traditional ways of life. Even Mexicans of Spanish descent, known as Criollos, grew increasingly disaffected by the political and economic restrictions imposed by the Spanish crown and colonial administrators. This set the stage for Mexico's independence struggle. In 1808, the upheavals caused by the Napoleonic Wars in Spain splintered the Spanish monarchy's control over its colonies. This power vacuum allowed separatist movements across Spanish America to gain momentum, including in Mexico. On September 16, 1810, a peasant rebellion sparked by a speech by the priest Miguel Hidalgo in Dolores, or the Grito de Dolores, launched the Mexican War of Independence. Led initially by Miguel Hidalgo, the conflict raged for over a decade across Mexico. Despite a series of Spanish royalist victories that temporarily crushed the insurgency, rebel forces led by Vicente Guerrero and the aristocratic Criollo Agustín de Iturbide eventually wore down the Spanish military resolve to keep fighting. In 1821, the revolutionary plan of Iguala united the Creole landowners and indigenous peasantry under the shared goals of independence, equality, and Catholicism as the sovereign religion. With the defection of the Spanish colonial army's top commander, Spain capitulated and recognized Mexico's independence that same year. On September 27, 1821, the Mexican army of the Three Guarantees, led by Iturbide, entered Mexico City, officially establishing the first Mexican empire, with Iturbide as its emperor. Though Iturbide was quickly deposed in 1823, Mexico had finally overthrown Spanish rule after over 300 years, 
ushering in a new era as an independent unified nation. In the decades after achieving independence, Mexico faced immense challenges in attempting to establish itself as a stable, sovereign nation. The early years saw constant power struggles between liberal federalists who wanted a democratic republic and conservative centralists who favored a strong central government. These clashes sparked major domestic conflicts like the Mexican-American War from 1846 to 1848, where Mexico lost vast territories like California, Nevada, and New Mexico to the expansionist United States. Then in the 1850s, the liberal La Reforma movement spearheaded by Benito Juarez fought to curtail the power of the Catholic Church and military, enshrining liberal policies in the Constitution of 1857. However, this prompted the conservative reaction to the French intervention in 1861, where Napoleon III's imperial forces briefly installed Maximilian I as ruler of the Second Mexican Empire before being expelled in 1867. For the rest of the 19th century, the regime of General Porfirio Diaz brought stability through his iron-fisted rule, known as the Porfiriato era, from 1876 to 1911. While modernizing Mexico's infrastructure and economy, Diaz was a dictator who crushed dissent. This repressive environment ultimately sparked the decade-long Mexican Revolution beginning in 1910, sparked by the uprising against Diaz, led by Francisco Madero. What began as a call for democracy exploded into a multi-sided civil war between various regional leaders and peasant revolutionary groups like the Zapatistas in the south and Villa's forces in the north. Out of this chaos eventually emerged a new constitution in 1917 that established Mexico as a federal republic with sovereignty vested in the people. It promised sweeping social reforms like land redistribution and protection of labor rights. This set Mexico on a path as a modern nation throughout the 20th century, even as it continued grappling with endemic poverty, unrest, and insurgencies from revolutionary holdouts for decades. Flag Mexico's national flag has three vertical stripes of equal size. On the left is a green stripe, in the middle is a white stripe, and on the right is a red stripe. In the center of the white stripe, there is a special coat of arms design. It shows a golden eagle standing on a cactus plant. The eagle has a snake in its mouth that it is eating. Each color on the flag means something important. Green represents hope, joy, and love. White means peace and honesty. Red stands for bravery, strength, and courage. The coat of arms design comes from an old legend Long ago, the Aztec people were traveling to find a new home. Their gods told them to build a city where they saw an eagle on a cactus, eating a snake. When they saw this sign, they built their capital city in that spot. They named it Tenochtitlan. Today, that city is Mexico City, the capital of Mexico. The eagle eating the snake while standing on the cactus became an important symbol for the Aztecs and later for all of Mexico. That's why this powerful image is displayed in the center of Mexico's national flag. Mexico is the 14th largest country in the entire world. It has all sorts of different landscapes like beaches, mountains, deserts, and rainforests. Mexico has a huge coastline along the Pacific Ocean on one side and the Gulf of Mexico and Caribbean Sea on the other side. The total coastline is almost 6,000 miles long. The capital and biggest city is Mexico City. It's one of the largest cities in the world with millions of people living there. Mexico borders the United States to the north. To the southeast, it borders the countries of Guatemala and Belize. In total, Mexico covers an area of almost 2 million square kilometers, or about 758,000 square miles. Mexico has a diverse climate due to its large size and varied topography. 
The country's climate is tropical with a rainy and dry season, and little temperature fluctuation from season to season. The temperature in all areas of Mexico typically ranges between 50 degrees Fahrenheit or 10 degrees Celsius and 90 degrees Fahrenheit or 32 degrees Celsius throughout the year. So, as you can see, Mexico is a massive country with incredibly diverse geography and climates all across its lands. From scorching deserts to frosty mountain peaks to sunny beaches, Mexico has it all. Let me know if you have any other questions about this place in the comments. Mexico has a huge population of over 130 million people. That makes it one of the most populous countries in the world. The people of Mexico come from a mix of different ethnic backgrounds. Around 62% are mestizo, which means they have both indigenous and Spanish ancestries. 21% are predominantly indigenous, descended from the original inhabitants before the Spanish arrived. About 7% are indigenous people who have maintained their native cultures and traditions. The remaining 10% have other ethnic roots, mostly from Europe. When it comes to languages, the majority of 93.8% of Mexicans speak only Spanish. However, 5.4% speak both Spanish and indigenous languages like Nahuatl or Mayan dialects. A small 0.6% speak only indigenous languages. The rest, about 0.2%, speak other unspecified languages. In terms of religion, around 78% of Mexicans practice Roman Catholicism. 11.2% are Protestants or other Evangelical Christians. Very few, only 0.002%, follow other religions. And 10.6% are unaffiliated, meaning they don't identify with any particular religion or are atheists. So as you can see, Mexico is a vastly diverse nation, represented by people of many ethnic backgrounds, linguistic traditions, and religious beliefs living together as one Mexican society and culture. Mexico has produced many influential and talented people over the centuries across various fields. Here are just a few of the most renowned Mexicans. Frida Kahlo, one of the most famous artists of the 20th century, Kahlo's vivid self-portraits combined with her dramatic personal life made her an icon of Mexican culture and feminism. Octavio Paz, this novelist, poet, and diplomat, was one of the most acclaimed writers in the Spanish language. He won the 1990 Nobel Prize in Literature. Diego Rivera, along with his wife Frida Kahlo, Rivera was one of the most prolific muralists and painters of the 20th century, known for his Marxist perspectives portrayed in murals across Mexico. Salma Hayek, born in Coatzacoalcos, Veracruz, Hayek is a world-famous film actress who was an early trailblazer for Mexican talents, making it big in Hollywood. These are just a few of the legendary figures who have made immense cultural, political, and artistic contributions that make Mexico proud. From revolutionaries to painters to writers and more, Mexican people have left an indelible mark across the world stage. If you enjoyed this video on Mexico, you'll love this next one.